God is good, and with each day that passes, brings us a day closer to the launch of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. This is the Nathan Napalm channel, and if you are new here, please consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in old school MMOs, MMORPGs, JRPGs, RPGs, all that kind of thing. Today, guys, I want to talk about mounts, okay? I'm going to talk a little bit about some mounting, about kind of a wish list if you will, of some features I would love to see make their way into Pantheon Rise of Fallen. Now, they don't have to be there at launch, but eventually something in this realm, something sort of like these things, and these are going beyond just simply like, I want lots of cool mounts, and I want to be able to collect them, and all that kind of thing. So, we, before I begin this discussion, though, I do have to say that Pantheon Rise of Fallen is saying no flying mounts because it makes the world small, and something you don't explore, and plus it hurts a lot of their features like climbing etc so let's go ahead and knock that all apart we're not talking about flying mounts here and i agree with visionary realms that flying mounts although cool uh, it's uh it's a world destroyer it makes the world obsolete you can just fly in where you want to go and bam avoid all the mobs you can fly over content it's not good but mounts can be more than something you simply ride in my opinion so let's talk about that today before we get started big shout out to the members of napalm for supporting this channel keeping the live so on keeping me in business i love you guys i appreciate it and if you're interested in becoming a member of napalm please click the join button down below for more information i would really appreciate it all right guys let's talk about mounts so obviously i want a mount that gives me a little bit of an extra speed boost that i can ride with my friends and my comrades my guild mates and we can ride off on our adventures together on our mounts and i like there to be different kinds of course i'm i'm a little boring sometimes with mounts i like horse types I like things that belong in the universe. I hate it, actually. It irks me. It bothers me when I'm playing MMO and I see weird stuff like motorcycles. and I just don't like that. Even when, it, even when they make it like, you know, the gnomes built it and all this, I, it just, I don't like it, right? Like, it just doesn't belong in the world for a fantasy game, right? Kind of bothers me. And also, really big mounts are too distracting. I have to zoom out too far. I don't like to zoom out too far unless I'm raiding or doing something like that where I really need to see my surroundings a lot. I like to stay pretty close to my PC, to my character. I meant, I meant PC is in playable character, by the way, there, guys. But anyway, I typically pick just a pretty basic mount. I usually pick just like a really cool looking horse or something. I don't know why, it's just what I like. It, it fits with my paladin-ness, I guess. But anyway, there are more features than simply just riding a horse or riding a mount. There can be more features to a mount than simply riding it. Now, I've discussed it before, but I gotta say it here where it belongs, and that is that I want mounts to also be something that you use as a pack mule, that you actually can go to a dungeon, you're getting full on your stuff and your gear, and you can, you know, toss it up on the on uh, in packs that sit on the mount's back and fill it up and different mounts can carry different amounts of weight so you know you kind of strategize that like all right guys um you know if you got no weight on it or or if it can hold your body weight and and things since everything has weight in pantheon then yeah you can ride it as long as it can hold that amount of weight but if you absolutely just fill it up with stuff and you load it up with coin and all kinds of treasures and spoils because you've been in that dungeon for days then you can't ride it then you just walk alongside it, you kind of lead it back to town but there would have been no other way for you to carry that much crap there and i think that's a really cool feature that n not many mmos take advantage of i know ultima online did that's where i literally got the idea from because i love those days i would bring my my mount down and different mounts could carry different amounts of things and i bring them and load them up with gold and stuff and then walk them all the way back to the bank and unload them and then head back to the dungeon for some more and i thought that was really addicting really cool gameplay i really enjoyed it and i thought it was awesome and another really cool idea with mounts and i can't believe i'm going to say this because this idea actually comes from an MMO I don't even like at all and that's Guild Wars 2 but they did something really cool with mounts in that game and that's it different mounts can do different things and to unlock you know and I might be getting this a little wrong guys I don't really play Guild Wars 2 I don't like it but uh, from what I understand you level them up and then they're able to do special abilities like certain ones can jump across really large gaps to get you to areas you might not be able to get to on your own at least um, you know you've got some that can jump really far up so you can you know jump over large cliffs 
cliffs and things like that. You got some meant for water, some for quicksand. You got ones that can go through certain portals. You got some. You got some that can smash through walls. I think that's a pretty good idea, guys. I think that's pretty awesome. That seems to fit with the way Pantheon is built and the way that they do things, in my opinion. I think that's a cool idea to do stuff like that. And you don't just get, you know, make it to where it's really difficult to get this mount or, I don't know, however you want to do it. It could be, you could even make that a crafting type class where people have to go out and tame. That's like a crafting kind of thing you can do where you can go out and you can, or I guess it would be more in the realm of gathering uh, type class. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, you go out and you actually tame these, uh, these uh, maybe they're mobs even, and, and you have to defeat them and then you can, if some Somebody's skilled enough, they try to tame it, but right before, you know, get its health real low, kind of like catching a Pokemon. <laughs> We're getting into some crazy territory here. But you see what I'm saying? They could implement that in such a way, it'd be really cool. Uh, lots of options they could go with that, but I think that's a really great idea. It's something that Guild Wars 2 does, and I think it's a pretty cool idea, and it seems like that kind of fits with the kind of thing. And I, I've heard Visionary Realm say, by the way, that mounts are going to be a little bit more than, you know, the average mount and the average MMO. So that's these. These points are a little bit relevant. And you know what I really like and I would love to see this happen. And, and I don't know if you'll agree with me. This is pretty controversial. Uh, the next couple things I'm going to talk about. But I would I enjoy it when your mount has to go to a specific place. Like a stable in order for it to actually not be out in the world. And it can actually be damaged and die. I know I'm a screwed up human being. But I think that adds another element. And makes you really care about that mount a little more. And it's actually yours. And it's more meaningful to you. And you take better care of it. And you like people find safe places to park their horses and their mounts whatever they may be before they go deep into the dungeon i think that's an element of gameplay that i really enjoy and on a pvp based game somebody skilled enough can possibly even steal your horse right that would be insane wouldn't it but it keeps the name you gave it so you see them riding around with your horse with your name on it and you're like that little dirty sob stole my horse that's mine you know uh, that's going into some crazy territory but i i gotta say that i kind of enjoy that not many games do it ultima online does it uh, i think black desert online does it a few games do it and it's something that i really i really kind of like in this really screwed up kind of way i think it's a a pretty cool system and here's another one that's not done very often everquest 2 had it ultima online had it mounted combat man i think it's cool i like mounted combat maybe it's a little different maybe the abilities change a little bit depending on your weapon the of choice right and how it works on the mount but i like mounted combat man i thought that was i thought that was awesome in everquest 2 is i could actually fight right there on my mount now some of the animations at least back in the day were really goofy and silly looking because you can literally in everquest 2 do all the same abilities there were some where you like did a 360 spin aoe kind of attack and he would just his body would just kind of rotate on his hip all the way in a circle it looked really ridiculous but you know if it was done in a more modern game, I would think that it would be very specific, like based on what weapon you have in your hand, here's a few attacks you can do on your, on your mount. Now, maybe not. You can just always ride your mount and always do combat on it. And I understand there's lag issues and etc. But I think we're, I think we're at a point now. Uh, in the modern world where we can handle people also attacking on their mount. I think that should be doable. But maybe not make it something that, like, you do all the time, right? Like, you don't have full access to your real abilities. You just have a couple of generic things you can do with that particular weapon kind of thing, which kind of makes people not want to do it all the time. But when you're caught on a mount and you've got things coming at you and attacking you, especially if the mount can die, then you kind of need a way to defend yourself without jumping off the horse because as we've all probably learn playing Skyrim it's really annoying when you get attacked by something you jump off your horse to you know defend yourself and your horse so it doesn't get killed and they're just all like like the horse is a tank and somehow he's gathering all the threat and everything's attacking the horse and you can't get anything off of him and he gets killed even though you're trying to defend him and it's just annoying and I don't like that so being able to attack on the horse if the horse can die is almost mandatory for me you got to put that in the game if the horse can take damage and die also you know just because a horse dies doesn't mean it's gone forever there could be a process you have to go through to get it resurrected by a necromancer perhaps and then it's an undead horse I and mean, there's so many cool things you could do with that right and i know i'm going down crazy rabbit holes so that's kind of the point of this video and those are my favorite things that's it that's that's basically what i would like to see if you're going to do something beyond just riding a mount 
and different mounts at different speeds or something like that, which can get annoying. But if you're not gonna do, if you're if you're gonna do something beyond just writing, those are my ideas of things I like that I think are immersive and cool. What do you guys think? Do you have other ideas for mounts you think that an MMO could do or something you always like to see? Or do you agree with my choices, random weird choices here? Is there any of those you really agree with or you feel a strong connection with? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thanks for joining me today. Big shout out to the members of Napalm for supporting this channel. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're interested in becoming a member of Napalm, please click the join button down below for more information. And of course, until next time, guys, God bless and happy gaming. Please listen to what I say. I've been making videos all day. My friends all say I'm it's a video buffet. You can even hit replay. But please just subscribe. I can't even describe. Being part of my tribe. I'll even offer you a fry. But just please just subscribe. And hit the bell notification too.